In an effort to unify and connect people on a deeper level, we bring you a show that will feel more like family. We are your girls, the, the Dreamcatchers. Dream Catchers. Three like-minded ladies join forces to open up about our personal issues and share stories in the hopes that you feel a little bit less alone. I'm Jessica, an Ohio-raised Midwest tomboy who isn't afraid to be honest about my struggles with anxiety or life in general. I'm Nicole, California Rays, and a mother of two darling little kids. When I'm not in PTA meetings, I love to talk about love, marriage, and family. I'm Charlie, a UK wild child turned introspective free spirit. I've recruited my best girlies to create a show where we can encourage, empower, and hopefully entertain. Our goal is to inspire, challenge your perspective, and to together learn to love ourselves exactly the way we are and to live our lives out loud. Welcome to the Dreamcatchers. All right, welcome back dreamers. And we have a very, well, a special yet kind of sad episode for you today um, because Nicole has some news. Hi. And we just wanted to share it with you. We're doing it on camera because instead of hiding things or um, pretending that everything's fine, we just wanted to be honest about everything that's going on in our lives, in our relationships and in our professional work. And we just wanted to be clear about what's happening so that you guys aren't confused and we've got to practice what we preach, right? Yeah, we've yes. preached our authenticity, so Here's if something happens real in life, yeah. don't hide it, bring it to the camera, you know, don't have to, well not bring it to the camera if you don't want to do that. If you're we will. You know what I mean? We'll yes. that for you. bring it to the camera um, because we think it's the right thing to do and it's fair and this is how we'd like, um, this is a, the, how we've dealt with this situation you're about to hear about is kind of how um, we want to inspire people to deal with stuff in the future. So, dreamers, I love you and I love these girls so much, but come to a point where I need to go on a separate path so I'm not gonna be on the show anymore the reason that over for me the reason that we thought it was so important to share it on camera is because there's a lesson in the whole thing which is that still small voice we call it or you know your angel thoughts whatever you guys call it for me mm -hmm. my still small voice for a while was speaking to me your intuition that this just wasn't a right fit and that I was being called to go in a different direction but I kept ignoring it and shoving it down because I really wanted to make it work. And I just wanted to want it so badly that I kept ignoring what was Your my truth. life speaking to me yeah. until it finally came to the point where I couldn't do that any longer. But what I've learned from it is this. That little intuition, that still small voice is there for a reason. It gets louder and louder if you don't listen to it. And by not honoring the direction that your life wants to head, you're actually not just screwing yourself to be honest but you're really messing around with other people and that's why I feel bad I wanted to share this with you guys because I feel terrible that so many months went by that I was thinking this and trying to make it work because I wanted to the human side of me wanted it to because then I drug them along and now it's even worse and it's even sadder but the good news is they were so sweet and open and understanding of the way I felt that that was really inspiring to me and made me feel good and we thought it'd be inspiring to you guys because this is how women should communicate and this is how women should work together they Definitely. understood they knew it wasn't against them you know that it was just my life needed to go in a different direction and it was so peaceful and it really was actually yes and now i think that me stepping down will open up the opportunity for someone to come in that's going to bless you guys and bless them and bless the show yeah. even more in ways that i couldn't because it just wasn't fully in my heart obviously we still really want to welcome back nicole with open arms whatever you want to Absolutely. come back on as a guest thank you and i'm gonna get emotional. i will i know <laughs> but it was a really nice think, transition like it was, it was so fun because it was yeah. loving because you have to understand it's just because this happened you know we, we filmed a bunch and then nicole's like this just doesn't feel right how like, many times have we, we been there the though footage? but how many times have we been there i've done that yeah. with relationships where i'm like yeah. this does not feel right in my gut but i i still love them i still love them and you but, wish yeah. it would but, and i yeah. want it to work but in my yeah. gut i'm like this is just not gonna happen and it's not even to do with the quality like anything lacking nothing on, in no. that situation it's no. just you're like you could for instance even with a person you could have an incredible relationship with yeah. someone that's such an amazing man but it just doesn't feel quite right for whatever reason yeah. because right. something else is more fitting for you and I think one of the, your gut. the best things as well that we felt good actually because some there was a little part of me that was like oh no like I felt let down and then it was like hang on a sec it feels so nice from our end of it to be supporting another woman to go off and do something else rather than being um, resentful or controlling or trying to keep someone in for your own sake for your own selfish sake it was like right okay we still want this big time. How can we move forward? No one can help how they feel in life, but you can choose. You do have power over how you choose to go forward yes. with it. Yes. And so that was what kind of we felt was like, 
this is an amazing person here that is just not her fault that she doesn't feel quite right. And so let's support this, this support That's Nicole beautiful. and push her forward and, and keep in touch and still obviously very much got a friendship as well. We've all been in that position where we're just like, this isn't right. And how hard is it to actually say, Look, this is yeah. right for me. You know what I mean? I'm sure you dwelled over it that for months. It was so hard, and it was, the <laughs> more time that went by, the harder it got. God. That's the point. I'm like, I should just oh. rip the band. You know, it was hard, and I wanted it to work. And then I'm like, the more time that goes by, it just gets worse. Yeah. So it doesn't go away. And, and also, it, like, for Charlie, because this was Charlie's, you know, original dream and idea. The, Charlie's yeah. like uh, passion, you know, should be honored by someone being on the show that feels the same, you know. Right. And like, it, I almost felt like. I'm d it's disrespectful that I don't have it in my heart as much as you do because yeah, and as much as you do because you deserve that both Aww. of you and the show deserves that. Aww. I believe that. Yeah. The two lessons here are always go with your gut and when things don't go the way you want them yeah. to go, handle it in a way that is respectful to all of the exactly. guys. And, and we like I said, code. we've been in the same situation just in a different circumstance. Different areas, yeah. yeah. And um, so we wish you well, Nicole. Thank we love you. you. Dude, we I love, love you, you guys. So Thank you for being so. Aww. Um, my dallies. The original, the original team. The OGs. Yeah. The, OGs. the OG dream catchers. Exactly. To put a button on it, I was talking to my mom about this. And yeah. she said, Nicole, you know the expression, when God closes the door, he opens the window? Yeah. She said, sometimes people spend so much time pounding on the door that they don't see that a window is opened. Yes. You know, because you're so yeah. focused on trying to yeah. force whatever it is yeah. you think that you don't, you don't. You can't see clearly yes. anymore. Yeah, so, you're focusing only on everything yes. else, you know, that yeah. one thing instead of what could be up. Yeah. This feels so, so I'll come back and update you guys absolutely. whenever I hear it. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, like, any last things to the people that have watched the last few weeks yes. and that have got attached to you or that adore you and anything you want to say to the fans Ooh. or viewers that will leave them with some inspiration or some something? Well, something first and foremost, thank you for watching. I mean, that's a gift. You know, just the fact that you take your time to tune into us and that you are entertained by us. Thank you for that. That's amazing and that I will miss and I'll miss you guys so much and I hope that this has been a good lesson to you. That's why we wanted to share it and whether you're, I mean, I, I was going to say as women, I hope that you learn from this how to work together, stay together, love each other, support each other, but as human beings, not even just as women. So um, I'll be back and thank you for watching. Yes. That's it. Thanks guys. We cannot thank you enough for watching and we will see you next week. Yes. Bye dreamers. Bye guys. Bye.